Cartnarks. This is my favorite channel right now. I never knew this existed until you showed us, and I'm down to binge them all. I really hope that y'all number one subscribe to this guy. And also, he puts himself on the line, honestly. Mm -hmm. And now I'm looking at people not putting their cards back. And today I pulled into the thing, I said, someone, I said, scoop it up. That's not where the cards go. <laughs> Car returns over there. <laughs> and even me, I got groceries today. And as soon as I put it in my car, I said, I gotta put this back. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I just thought about, oh, this is, what would Car yeah. do? He, yeah. He's starting a revolution. I hope this spreads. I'm gonna try to keep spreading this yeah. shit. Car return, a little ways away, but certainly not. Oregon. And so, where's he going? Well, he's curving it. That is pretty crazy. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. I hate to see it. Do you think he's got a body cam where he's holding the iPhone? Body cam, I think. Okay. Church chant music? That's not where the carts go, sir. What? The carts go back at the cart return. I don't see the cart return. I'll show it to you. It's right over there. You want to take it now? No. How about our hood flag of shame? Well, let's go with the hood magnet since that was a. <laughs> it's like a piece of cheese on a baby, just to. Well, sir, you need some help? <laughs> yeah, you get the fuck away from me, you son of a bitch. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All of a sudden, I blocked your attack. Oh, yeah. fuck. Sir, don't, now you know what you did, right? Oh. <laughs> Puts it right back. This dude's crazy. I love how polite he is, too. <laughs> Why you gotta go? <laughs> it's a poor throw. <laughs> you got some good speed on him. But it's only, it doesn't come back to me. It just sticks on lazy bones. You gotta right, so you're gonna block this one. I see you're gonna. Bro. People get so pissed. Uh, some... He's like, oh, you play game. until you take your car back. Chill, 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 chill. Bro, I be getting scared. Yo. I get scared for him. Can I have a kiss, please? No. Why not? Punch your face Don't do that. Why not? Against the law. How about this? Yeah, well, he walk like that. Why not? I'll put one on the back here. So it's... <gasps> Stop it. Stop it. Sir? Stop it right now. You stop it. Stop it right now. You stop I'll put my finger at you too, sir. But see, what I'm doing is I'm being nice. I'm just wearing this. <laughs> He's pissed. You're an asshole. But see, the person who leaves their car. This is so jerk, good. A jerk face lazy bones. Whoa. And what, are you going to take your car back this oh, time? Have you learned your lesson? No, I haven't. Why not? Because you're an asshole. You seem like you'd be a good dramatic actor. You're very uh, emotional and engaged. I'm not acting. Well, I can tell that, unfortunately. Why do you call me names? I'm calling you nice things. Like, I mean, I did say lazy bones. You're in neutral. Gotcha. People just don't like being called out. Oh, They'll dude. go to the extent of making themselves look like a fool outside, screaming. <laughs> Stopping their car, getting out of their car, screaming. Get the fuck away from me. Just put your car back. No! They can't. Or just drive away. <laughs> Four times he did that. He put his arm out <laughs> crazy. And the time he did that, he could have put his car back. Right, it's either you're gonna put it back or you're not. So if you're not, just drive away. Yeah. Why, why part participate in the... In the shenanigans that you don't have to. Oh, they don't deserve that in their mailbox, sir. Here, I got some more for you. Get out of here! Get the <laughs> fuck out of here! That's what? Stop fucking following me! I blocked your attack. Oh, shit. Stop! See, you, Stop you, should, you, you shouldn't tell, tell, tell Is the guy to punch you so he much. You. you had your fist up like that, so I knew which way it was coming from. That's my mag. It's my flag, unless you want it. Shove the grass. Sir, but you went back and grabbed the gun. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, because he seems crazy. Uh, well, are you taking both those carts back, sir? That's very nice of you. I was just talking to the guy who left his cart out to begin with, and right. he got all peed, pee peeved about it. But you know, you hate pulling out in a spot like this, and yeah. And, the, and I was telling him, the first cart's not terrible. I'm going ahead in the there, yeah. Well, that's where to go. Yeah. Uh, I'll take it for you if you want me to. Because right. once, once two or three, because if you left your cart stacked up, eventually blocks the whole spot. I mean, I have to tell you, you're a smart guy. No, Responsible fella. Hey, at least the story is finished. The icing on the. Uh... The cupcake, but um, there's nice people out there. The reason the people out there. Off there is these GoPros, they can overheat and it's very hot today. Oh, yeah, the GoPro. Narcotine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't know he did a face reveal because I've been <laughs> curious. I've been curious. I thought we had to get like a mil subs and then we I saw it and I was waiting for us to react to another one. Cart Narc's founder accused of publicly shaming customers for not returning shopping carts. He's a hero. I'm Major Sebastian, I'm the founder of the Cart Narc's. Agent Sebastian Carnark. Carnarks are an independent organization that tries to get people to just take their cart back to the cart return. That's not where the cars go, that's the mulch. When I do see that some lazy bones has left their cart out, lazy bones. The wand of justice and activate the mouth siren. 
Skeep, skeep, whee! Okay, I want to be friends with this guy. Another spot. I need a picture with him. We've had hundreds of encounters. I've had many threats on my life being a cart narc. Besides a guy pulling a gun on me, I've had multiple people say they're going to run me over. Well, sir, that's not I'm not. a killer. Sir, that's against the law. There's definitely an adrenaline rush. Go f*** yourself, man. cart narc. This is my uniform. It, I have an equipment vest, which is actually a bulletproof vest. I put my body camera right here. Captures everything that happens so nobody can lie about it afterwards. It's uh, curbing, sir. Why? You, know, you know that's against the law to video tape somebody. I have this wand here, which lights up. It shows that I'm highly visible. I threw hit. drink on you, that's little assault. girl, okay? Uh, uh, and that's, a little girl. And as a feminist, I take offense with that. He's quick with the response. And he's very nice. Our videos get millions and millions of views. This is because I think it's a common pet peeve. Is your disability lazy bonesitis? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. People say you're bullying and harassing people. That's simply not true. What I'm doing is I'm not letting them throw a temper tantrum and dissuading me from my mission. I'm a highly trained special agent with the cart narcs. So what we do is we narc people out who leave their carts out like this, like big old lazy bones. To those who say I'm just shaming the public, yes, I am. We are a social creature, and that's how we learn what to do, is by watching examples of how to behave. There is an epidemic of lazy bones in America, and the cart narcs are here to slide it back. Wait a minute, ma'am, please stop approaching me. I'm back in the way. He's doing good for the world. No, come here, because I'm going to teach you. Uh-oh, pepper spray. I'm going to teach you. Ah. You have pretty quick feet. Well, yeah, I, I have to flee quite often. As you saw, pepper spray. I've had gun, a gun pulled on me. I've yeah. had people try to hit me with their cars and trucks over just asking them to put their cart back where they know it. Yeah, doesn't that just show you how ridiculous people are? I'm gonna pull a gun out on you. I'm gonna throw my coffee on you. Yeah. All because you told me to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. And you got exposed for doing the wrong thing. I'm gonna present violence as the answer right now versus let me go put this cart away. When you call a cheater out, they're gonna, even with evidence, they're gonna deny it because they can't fess up and fessing up would mean yeah. they're giving in and, and people are not willing to do that Their egos are too powerful mm -hmm. and attached to the cart, I guess Well, but you do more than just ask them to put their cart back. Well, that's correct because they you shame them Correct, and this is, it's only as you saw in the videos there. It's a bumper magnet It's not marking but it is that scarlet letter that says I don't return my shopping cart like a jerk and when they do react like what we're seeing in some of these videos, it does highlight how ridiculous they are, how ridiculous their yeah. ego is. Is your disability lazy, lazy bones-itis? Because I saw you walk around the store and then you Oh, came absolutely. Out. How about that? You yourself. Delicious McDonald's and delicious yourself. yourself. That's crazy. I don't care. You're at I me. don't give a Man, let, me give you my let me give you my business card. I don't know who you think you are. I'm the card narc. But I don't ever you. tell somebody with a disability it's lazy bones-itis. You got pretty you yeah, had a pretty good throwing arm for someone with a disability. Throwing arm, it's my back. I'm gonna use your back to throw. Would you like my business card or not? How about that? So how? Why do you harass people? Not harass. Agent I'm Sebastian. saving the next person with a real disability who might with have With a real disability? Who might have like, you know, Don't ever insult somebody and tell them they don't have a real disability. Yeah, what's the problem? He told you to put, asked you nicely to put the card away and you're over here screaming, throwing this is like crazy. energy on him. And it's the same thing every time. Role model for her, quite frankly. No, Sebastian. Yes, I am. You're a piece of Ma'am, I didn't throw anything at somebody. No, Sebastian, you're not inside my body, so don't ever insult nobody. I doubt many but people- Don't ever insult nobody, but I can throw a bang energy on you. Day is. You don't know what their life is. I don't know her day, Dr. Phil, but I do know that I saw her walk out to her truck, climb up in her truck and load her groceries, and then the second she didn't need her shopping cart, it's in the handicap access way, blocking the place the handicapped people need to go. Did you say you're a trained agent? Sure, That's that adds- Who, who trained you? Me. <laughs> Hundreds of hours, and that Dr. Phil trying to clown him. That's not that's not cool. What, a, what kind of agent are you? An uh, agent of the carts of the cart narcs. And you said somebody curbed their cart. You said this is a violation of what? A public decency. How many times have you pulled into a parking? Well, you spot? said it's a violation, as though it's a violation of some code. No, there's no criminal charge. There's no there's no ticket I'm writing anybody. It's just a violation of common courtesy. Uh, the same as littering or not picking up after your dog. So or... what you meant is this is rude. Correct, yes, sir. But you were just acting like a cop. No, sir. I, or I an want agent. An agent, yeah. I never identify myself as law enforcement because obviously that would be. Dr. Phil lost He wasn't points. having it. 
He's losing points for that. I found him more. So you're an agent? Yeah. So you're not, of what? So who train you? Sir, I do this every day. I train myself. And it's like, he's actually helping people. Yeah, why wouldn't he, why wouldn't Dr. Phil want to promote that? Dr. Phil is an embarrassing boomer. People should be held accountable. How many cars get damaged or how many handicapped spots are blocked by carts each day? It's fact. And he has a platform he could have used. He said, all right, make sure you guys put your carts away to help save humanity um, from lazy bones itis. <laughs> so, Y'all know the deal. I, everyone that reads with us, like, Dr. Phil's being a hard ass. For no um, reason, really. And I'm with our guy, Sebastian, the card narc. Gotta uh, narc some carts with them. That would be I was looking like, I kinda wanna sift in the parking lot. Narc, lines. YouTube world. But then I was like, do I really want people attacking me? <laughs> no. I don't. I'm not brave, I'm not as That's brave. So we gotta go with Sebastian. Yeah, go with him in a bulletproof vest, shit. I'll be, I'll be in a car with the telescope and I'll yeah. watch him do it. It's like, do you really want to get shot over telling someone to put their car back? I don't, personally. Yeah. But... This is his thing. I'm going to let Sebastian take care of it. Put your cars back. Wait, let me escape. Wait.